McLaughlin is the nation's favourite tabloid sweetheart. At just 16, she hit the headlines as Wayne Rooney's girl. Five years on, she now writes her own fashion column, has launched a perfume, and is the face of Georgia Asda. She's gone from schoolgirl to style icon. But she's still your average girl next door. Thank you. I am an ordinary girl. I haven't got the figure of them typical, you know, models on the catwalk. And people always come up to me and say, oh, you're just like one of us, you know, you're late. I don't know what they expect me to be. Now Colleen is facing her biggest challenge yet. Over the next eight weeks, she's on a mission. Nice to meet you. She wants to get real women like her to become the faces of eight major brands. Excuse me, we you ever got time just to stop for a minute? Colleen McLaughlin is taking on a massive new challenge. She wants real women like her to become the face of eight major brands. There's things I dislike about my body, but there's no reason why other women can't have the opportunities that I've had. Out of thousands, just a few will go through. They'll have professional shots done and then compete against real models for the job. If I can get one of these companies to use a girl that isn't a typical model, then I've achieved what I've set out to do. Will Colleen's real women beat the professionals at their own game and win the contracts that will change their lives forever? This week, Colleen's challenge is to find the perfect pair of legs for the UK's number one tights brand, Pretty Polly. Hi, it's Colleen here to see Amy. Pretty Polly have used some of the leggiest models in the world. So, can Colleen convince them that a real woman is good enough to front their next campaign? I'm feeling a bit nervous because I don't know, really know what to expect and what a brief is all about. I'm going to see what they want and I'm going to throw in a few questions about, you know, can I go a bit further on the size limit, you know, do they have to be, you know, really long legs, so hopefully I can change their minds in the way they've done it before. Hey, Amy, happy to meet you. This is Gail. Hi, nice to meet you. So, should we go up to the Yeah, that's good. So what is the brief? We're looking for a lady, yeah. um, aged between 80 and 30 years old, really. But sort of feminine, curves are fine. We're looking for a girl who's uh, proud of what she's got yeah. and confident. You know, we're looking for a girl who could be anybody's best friend. Is there a height limit that we're going to look Yeah, for? we're looking at uh, a minimum of 5 foot 8. So, I know. <laughs> I know. Because <That's> <laughs> 5 foot 8 is really tall for a lady, isn't it? And I know that the majority of girls out there will have lovely legs, yeah. but won't be that height. So, it's going to be quite hard for us to, to find that. It, it's it's, it's a, a tough a challenge. It is a really tough challenge. Let's look at some model shots. Well, I've met Heidi from the Sugar Babes, and I know she isn't 5 foot 8 or over but she looks fantastic in yeah. this ad campaign. The average height in around the UK is five foot four. So what would you feel about me bringing someone to you who you know has got fabulous legs but is you know smaller than five yeah. foot eight? I think firstly, um, the longer leg always looks better to show off our product. So um, we're, we're, that's why our, our, our brief is at five foot eight. But we're really happy to be challenged. If you can find the best legs for a lady that's shorter than five foot eight, then we would love to see them. So if our lady wins, hopefully she does, what, yeah. would, what would she be doing? So whenever Pretty Polly is in the sort of the public spotlight, then our new lady will be fronting it, whether that's an ad campaign, yeah. whether that's um, a PR sheet. I mean, it's, it's, it's endless opportunities. It, we could absolutely make somebody's career. As soon as the serious chat's over, it's their turn to question Colleen. Do you like your legs? No, I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I also, because I'm so small and that, I always say, you know, when you get them things in, in interviews, we'd say, what's your worst feature yeah, in your body? Yeah. I always say my legs. I like two little stumps, I don't really, um, I would like to have longer legs. But so. with a great pair of heels and some bit of TLC before you go out? I don't know, I just, and stands up straight around the time. <laughs>
I just hope she understands the size of the challenge that we've set. Um, normally we'll go to one of the top model agencies who've spent years building up their books, but starting from scratch and looking in the quite tight criteria that we've set is a big challenge. There will be girls out there that aren't at all with fantastic legs, but maybe if we bring them girls along and we think that, you know, we're happy and confident to present them to Pretty Polly, hopefully they might go for one of our girls. We're not just going to take any girl. We will say no at the end of the day if she's not the right girl for our brand. So with no time to waste, Colleen needs to start her search for Britain's best pair of undiscovered legs. She needs hundreds of girls to apply for her casting day, but she has no idea of where to start. Right. Heather March is the UK's leading street caster, best known for finding the Dove Girls. And if it's real women Colleen's after, she'll know exactly where to look. How come she got involved in this one though? I really wanted to take part in it because, you know, I've had that opportunity and I wanted to give, you know, other girls a chance. But as well, I think it's nice to see a variation that the public can relate to. And I think as well, that's what's happened with me. You know, people say, oh, you know, people relate to you and girls look up to you. And I think it's nice that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm curvy and that's the way I am. I'm, you know, I don't think I could be any different way to my body. <laughs> I always say, as long as you're healthy, you're happy, um, it doesn't really matter. So how do you think um, it's going to be for me going out there? The first thing I would say you have to be is very confident when you approach the women. And I think get your point across really quickly. You know, hi, yeah. I'm, I'm casting I'm casting an advert and I think you look absolutely fantastic. And then that gets them, doesn't give them a chance to kind of run off. Um, obviously, as soon as you say to people, I think you look fantastic for it, that always gives them a little boost. Armed with scouting cards, they head out to one of London's busiest shopping areas in search of some great legs. So we double up, double up scouting, but yeah, don't nick any of mine. Okay. I know I won't nick any of yours. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> I can't run. And Heather doesn't hang around. For um, ad campaigns rather than actual models. Would you be interested in doing anything like that? Yeah, just log on to them, see where the casting days are, and then come along with skin. You know what else is always good? Poke your head in shops, because it's always yeah. quite often there's good salespeople. Sorry for interrupting your phone call. <laughs> you just look so lovely that you've been oh, great. Yeah. You've got such beautiful skin. She's got a really interesting face. They're quite, they're quite cute. And while Heather's on to the next girl, Colleen's finding out that getting girls to apply is a lot harder than it looks. Once we get a few, I'll start running after people. Can't really run that fast because I've got heels on. Then Colleen spots a girl that she thinks could be perfect. The, the girl outside her boots. Go on, you're doing the talking. Oh, no. Go you on. can help me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done any modelling before? Uh, no. Haven't you? But you've got fantastic legs. Oh. Well, take one of the cards and yeah, log okay. on to this and you'll find out, you know, what they're all about and what the show's, you know, about. Okay. And... Beautiful skin. She's great. Well, She's... I just think it is. I think you did brilliantly. And you <laughs> spotted her from a mile off. Yeah. I'm only starting out, this is a new thing for me and um, approaching people is quite hard. I don't mind the chatting bit once I got, get them but it's just going up to people because sometimes yeah. they are in a rush and it's just the fact that you need to get your point over quick. Hopefully the girls will come along to the casting but you've got to remember that you know the girls have got jobs and um, everyday lives so hopefully they'll be able to take a little time out and come and see us down at the castings. But finding real women to take on professional models isn't going to be easy. So Colleen needs the help of someone who knows the industry inside out. Just so the brushes off her face. She's hoping that top fashion producer Camilla Johnson-Hill will work with her over the next eight weeks. Camilla has worked with the best in the business from Gucci to Gap to H&M. Well, I've got major ad campaigns out there that 
I've got to find these real women for. You don't have to be the typical supermodel type, you know, size zero. But all different body shapes, sizes, all different faces, you know, just a wide range. So I think as long as you're happy, you're healthy, with your, you know, your body's healthy, I couldn't care less whether you're a size zero or a size 18. But I think sometimes clothes, you know, or the, the whatever you're advertising looks better on a variety of girls. But everyone's so used to seeing so many pictures of girls with so much makeup on and so retouched that we've kind of lost the actual reality of what women look like. So something like this can really show girls that they are beautiful and that they do have the, the possibilities that some of those girls have. Camilla's on board and they need to get on with their first assignment straight away. <laughs> But will there be the pair of killer legs that Colleen and Camilla are looking for? Today's your first open casting day, so I don't really know what to expect. I'm quite nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. The doors open. Hello. Hello. And the girls head straight to the cakes. going to be looking for some fantastic legs and that is to be part of a major brand and to model for them. So we're going to be coming around, getting to know you a bit more, asking you about your legs and just, you know, chatting to you, <laughs> chatting to you. So just relax, help yourself to tea and coffee, enjoy yourselves and just thank you again. Camilla will be fighting to win the pretty Polly job, and that means they have to find the perfect pair of legs in that room. So their first task is to look for the best ten girls to stay on for the afternoon. Do you work out? Yeah, I do some running and stuff, but as you can see, the thighs and the bum and the breasts is in the family. It's good, it's great, that's real Thank beauty. You. have an absolute celebration, a party, if they ever put someone like myself on the catwalk that isn't this tall and, you know, this skinny. I had cancer scare this year and I was in hospital for a while and I had a lump removed, which is quite upsetting. But um, it's kind of made me realise that there's so many things I wouldn't do before because I was like, oh, I'm not skinny enough, I'm yeah. not pretty enough, I'm just kind of a normal girl. But now, sod it, I'm going to yeah. everything. One of the girls from her street casting. She went sure when I seen you. Yeah, I was a bit shocked. It's like to lunch now. Yeah, I just got to take the day off work and thought, why not? Well, I'm a police officer in the Metropolitan Police, so um, normally it would be driving around in a police car, probably. Now. <laughs> this makes a bit of a change for me to be out of my uniform and doing something a little bit different. Are you happy with the way your body is? Do you yeah, like your body? I do because I mean I've never going to be like a size four, and I'm completely happy. With my and you're quite voluptuous. You've got a good, you've got a good breast I on feel, you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very jealous. Let's see your tummy. Nice. Wow. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's really not fair. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Nice to meet you. Colleen and Camilla have now met everyone, and it's time to choose their favourite ten. So, back in the hall, there's nothing to do but wait. I don't know. I'm not overconfident, <laughs> but um, it's been a great day, and Colleen's lovely, so it's been well worth it. We've met so many beautiful women today, it's just been so hard to decide. So instead of taking 10 through this afternoon, we've decided to take 15. So the first name to be called out is Jenna Hajani, <laughs> Maxine Barhan. It was hard choosing 10 to go through, so we ended up 
2015 to go through. There were some really great girls and you had to make sure you had the combination of everything. The great legs, a great face, great character and it was just quite tough getting the whole package. Sasha Parker. I am so not looking forward to making the final decision. Just want to say to come here today and to get on like you have done is just fantastic and just good luck to every one of you and to all you too. Thank you. thing I want you all to do is take off your makeup. Before choosing their final three, Colleen and Camilla want to find out what the girls really look like. And the girls are in for a shock. So I've got a pair of black pants for you all. So I'm going to give you a pair of pants and then if you just put a t-shirt on, the changing rooms are behind you and then I will show you what you need to do. Known this is what I was going to be doing today, I'm not sure I would have been so happy to come, but in the end, you know, you just got to say, do it, you know. If my friends were here, I'd have a good few of them moan and saying I am not wearing them. But it's just, but because the brand is about legs and you never know when you're working with the brand, you could be wearing little shorts like that or little pants or tights. It's essential to find out how confident the girls are. Camilla's favourite way of testing models for her own professional shoots is to make them dance. So what I want you to do is do something on the chair that shows your legs and then stand off the chair, do a twirl, come back in. When you're here, if you do a little dance so we can see your legs <laughs> and then walk off. Is that alright? Does anyone want to go first? Oh, okay. Well done. Is 23 year old mum of two Sasha Parker. Okay. Sasha, I love. I think she's got a great smile, she's got great energy. She's a bit more weighty than the other ones, but she's got a really good personality, and that's what the brief asks for. And then coming to the front and do a little profile. Yeah, it was nerve wracking. It was quite scary actually, but I think I don't know. I think I don't know. I think it went well. I hope it went well. <laughs> Did it go well? <laughs> Maxime, she's a policewoman. She's got two kids, a real tomboy. So she might move in quite a boisterous way, but I think we can probably show her how to move more elegantly. is one of the shortest in the group. Charlotte's really sweet. She does push the brief because she's only short, but she's just really pretty. I've never done a bikini shoot, but I have photographers with me on holiday, and, so yeah, and that's yeah. unexpected. Yeah. I'm not posing for pictures and no. they're, they're there, but I have, I have done a shot in like little shorts before, but not a full bikini shoot. <laughs> it doesn't appear to me at all. <laughs> Maybe if I had legs like all yours, I would, but I haven't. The <laughs> man like that. Yeah, I'm ready. Sadie, I think it's really interesting. She looks like she could be a model, but never was. Look at the camera, and then do a little. I'm really excited to see if she's not too nervous or too shy. I'd say she was the one I seen who meets the brief more than anyone else. Great. That was great. Well done. And it's hard. It really is something that you probably never come prepared to do today, but you've all done really good, and you've all got fantastic legs. Wish my aunt like that. Yeah. <laughs> good luck, good and luck. just you can go and get changed back into your clothes now if you want. Thank you. Bye. Colleen and Camilla are looking for girls with great legs and confident personalities. Only three can go through to the next stage, where they'll be given a professional makeover and go head-to-head -head against some of the best fashion models in the business. I think Charlotte was really good. How tall is she? I'm not sure, but she is She's shorter short. than She's the definitely few, shorter yeah. than the brief. 
um, shaking because of the results, so I'm like trying to do my lip line and I'm just rubbing it all over my face. <laughs> Sasha, I think, is going outside the brief quite mm -hmm. a lot. So it's just whether we want to push the brief or not. It's scary actually, because to get this far, which is a really good achievement in itself, and yet be so close and, you know, are you going to get it? Are you going to get it? <laughs> We're Maxine, back. when I talked to her at the end, she she gave a really good point. She said she was, you know, she didn't like putting the shorts on. She mm -hmm. said, but now that she has and she's done it, she feels it she feels so much confident with her uh, with her body. Oh, and, that's great! Yeah. I bet they'd all do it again. Yeah. You all look that different in your own clothes now. <laughs> <laughs> The first girl to go through to the final three is Charlotte. It was amazing. I sort of heard it and I didn't believe that they'd actually said my name. The second girl to go through is Sadie. Sadie's a little bit nervous, got a touch of kind of nervous energy. We need to make her feel more calm and confident. And the last girl is Sasha. She's got boobs, she's got a bum, she's curvaceous, and she's got a smile from ear to ear. Oh my God, it's me! <laughs> I was really happy, it was so exciting. It's so real, it's real. <laughs> 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 Now, Colleen, fashion producer Camilla, and her team have just one day at a studio to transform these ordinary girls and give them their own modelling portfolios. And Charlotte is the first to arrive. Just so excited about, you know, actually giving what I've got to the camera and seeing how everything turns out. I don't quite know what to expect, which is half the fun of it, but I'm just going to go for it. While Charlotte is slim at a size 8 to 10, she'd never get anywhere near a catwalk because she's only 5 foot 5. Charlotte's working as an admin assistant, but her heart really lies elsewhere. Work part-time on temporary contracts with an agency, and at the weekends I go to acting classes. It's my passion. Stand by. And action. Hi, my name's Charlotte McCabe and I'm 19 years old. Charlotte is um, quite introverted, um, but with sort of a, an extroverted, I suppose, shell around her. But inside, I think she's a big softie, really. I'm worried about not being, not being good, good enough, I suppose. And, you know, looking short and stumpy on the camera is something I'm really quite paranoid about and I can't get leg extensions and I've just got to work with what I've got and exercise, make sure I look after my body and that's the best I can do. Everybody's gonna love today, gonna love today, gonna Next to arrive is 23-year-old's mum of two, today, Sasha. Barely slept last night actually thinking and what's going to happen, what, you know, what we're going to wear, what we're going to look like, and I'm really excited. It's like we're getting so close now and I really, really want it. In the days leading up to the photo shoot, Sasha has been working hard to tone up. I think my legs will always need a bit of work, but I'm, 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 I've always been quite proud of them anyway because they're long, they're kind of the thing that stands out about me the most anyway, so I'm happy with them, but there's always work to be done. Sasha's the biggest of the three girls. At size 12 to 14, she would normally be too big to be a professional model. I do purchase ledger for a novelty gift company. Basically, I just do all the banking and make sure everything is good. It's boring to look at, but I enjoy it. I work here three days a week and then I do all my husband's financial side of his business of an evening, so when the children are in bed and that way I get to divide my time between them and work. I never sleep, but <laughs> I get to do it all. <laughs> with such a busy life, Sasha's come up with a clever way to look after the kids and keep in shape at the same time.
kind of we get up in the morning and I put the music on and we just jump around it's kind of just to wake us up and then since obviously I found out about this we've been incorporating some leg stuff and just kind of get me a bit fitter but we just jump around and sing and go mad and then we do it every an evening so I wear them out for bedtime and <laughs> so they just they collapse by the time they have to go to bed. Last of the studio is Sadie. Camilla told me on the casting day that I uh, had to kind of deal with my nervous energy, so obviously I've just got to stay calm and just, you know, try and enjoy the day. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you. Hello. 26-year-old Sadie is a trainee lawyer and still lives with her parents in London. I'm going to really miss you cooking when I'm gone, Mum. I know. I'm we'll having some dal, yeah? Good, I'm starving. I feel alright about my body. Uh, I mean, I was always really thin when I was uh, younger, and I've, uh, you know, put on a bit more weight now, um, which I think is a good thing. Um, makes me feel a bit more feminine, I suppose. I think she's got beautiful legs. She's got gorgeous legs, you know. And everybody teases her that her legs go all the way right up to her armpits. At five foot ten and a dress size ten, Sadie may be the most obvious model material, but her lack of confidence could seriously damage her chances. Being on camera is, you know, not something that I'm 100% sort of comfortable with or feel completely natural doing. I mean, it's definitely a consideration that I have to think how it's going to be being photographed and ultimately how it's going to be going into a casting and being sort of examined by three other people and how I'm going to take to that and whether my nerves will take hold of me or whether, you know, I'll be able to at least look confident and calm. But we'll just have to wait and see, <laughs> really. I'm excited about the makeover day because it's a great opportunity and, I mean, it's not something you get to do every day. Um, I'm apprehensive because of how I'm going to be and whether or not I'm going to like, deal with it well and uh, a little bit scared because it's a big thing and it's quite scary. <laughs> In just one day they need to get natural Polaroids. I'm not smiling is definitely better. Yeah. Black and white shots. So we're going to take one person out at a time and the other two are not allowed to watch. It's going to be really hard today to get shots to compete with the, the models. Thankfully, we've got Camilla on board, who is fantastic, and she knows what she's doing. Now I've overcome the nerves, I'm not so worried about it. Uh, definitely, I'm up for it now. Like, start, start, start to enjoy it. But most importantly, the full glamour shot. So and Camilla is starting to feel the pressure. Guys, we need to be really so quick. Okay. We've got like 20 minutes for each now. So I've done shoots before where I've done one shot in a day and, and that's kind of a 12 hour day where it just takes that long to get everything right. And here we've done three girls in five hours and now we've got to do the same three girls again in an hour and a half before we lose the studio, the photographer and, and everyone else. The sample size clothes are all far too long for Charlotte, but stylist Lizzie has a clever plan. This is at the top and I'm going to put it get you to wear it as if it were a micro mini dress. A micro? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I just hope they don't get any shots of my bottom because my bottom is hanging out right now. <laughs> Let's have a look at you. Yeah, I even get you all in. So I had to kind of get my leg up in a funny position and my legs were like wobbling. It was like the nerves and just generally the muscle, lack of muscle strength. I was just shaking, but it was cool. We're out of doubt. We've chose the right gear for them legs. The legs are fantastic. They just look gorgeous. I wish I had a pair of legs like that. That's the one. Eyes to me. Camilla, are you happy? Yeah, love it. I reckon we got it, guys. Yeah, I think we got it. Thank you. At this stage, I think the person who's in with the best chance is Sadie. I, I almost don't want it to be Sadie, though, because she's the one that looks most like a traditional model. I would love Sasha to get the job because she does challenge the brief in a way that I think is really interesting and appropriate for what we're doing. Two, uh, lovely. You look like you're having fun, and that's the main thing. Yes! And again, three, two, one. <laughs> lovely. That's a, that's crackerjack. It's good. Look at that, that's gorgeous. 
really, really, really excited. Like, I can't wait. Excited. I just want to get out there and do it. Too far around. The yeah. Australian yeah. is laughing. The energy's there. It's so great. And I think a more playful yeah. shot, you can do that more, yeah. more natural. So yeah. That's natural. Yeah. And it's so hard. Mm. That's the one. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> How do you feel? Yeah, good. Great. Yeah. It was good. It was amazing. I've got to go and change now and go back to normal, and I don't want to, but all good things come to an end. The clock is ticking. I've got to shoot her now. I'm really pushing up. That arm oh, nice. Up a bit there, there. Charlotte is a beautiful girl, I think. She's full of confidence. I, I just think that it's going to be a long shot. Here we go. Three, two, one. And with time running out, Charlotte's size is causing yet another problem. Her feet are too small for the shoes. So the, the gold ones are too big as well. What, are, what size are you? She's a 38. 38. I've, got, I've got a 38 on, but the pewter. Oh, no, they look amazing. They look, they look amazing. It might be a bit wide because I've got fat feet. <laughs> <laughs> but you can try them. <laughs> they're perfect. Yeah, they're killer. There we yeah. go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Actually, bend it more. Look to me, fantastic. Got you, done. <laughs> I think we got it, that's amazing. Yeah. She's got a really cute body, it's all in proportion. Um, and it's cute, you know, she's got little caves in the right places. So I think, you know, without a doubt, her legs are fantastic. So there's no way they could knock her because of her height or her legs. It's just been such a good experience and it's really boosted my confidence today as well. So I'm probably gonna walk home later and feel like Mrs. Queen of the World. <laughs> The date's been really good, uh, it kind of exceeded all my expectations. I always knew it was going to be a good laugh, but I think probably I was just too concerned about my nerves. And now I'm here, now I've done it, it's just been wicked. It's just everyone's been really nice and the girls really nice and I've had a blast, you know. I'm, I'm normally at home changing nappies and cooking dinner, so it's been really different and I've really enjoyed it. I can't believe I'm crying, I need a tissue. <laughs> Pretty pony casting, and the first time Colleen is about to see if she can get a real woman into an ad campaign. I'm really excited for the verdict day because this is the first one out of them all. So I don't know really what to expect when I go into to Pretty Polly. I'm quite nervous and I think it will be nervous sitting there with the girls, especially when I meet them in a minute. But I'm going to try my best to get the confidence up and get them feeling fine, ready to go in there. Colleen hopes that seeing their finished portfolios for the first time will give the girls a much needed boost. So are you all ready for today? Yes. Uh, ready? Oh, I don't gosh. know about ready. <laughs> we're really nervous, nervous, we're excited. And... Oh my god! Yeah. Oh. So these are going to be, you're going to take them in with you and you're going to present them to the people from Pretty Polly. Just confidence. Oh, wait, to open it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> Just look at that yeah, pose, awesome. how confident. Yeah, that one, you see, it shows as well. I did yeah. feel a lot com more confident doing these ones as well than I did the others. <laughs> I love it. Oh, sorry, that looks like a typical like gap advert. Yeah. It, it yeah. really yeah. moody. Yeah, that's the look what we wanted there. Yeah. Good. You would see them in the covers of magazine. <laughs> yeah, you you would if if you seen that. Your legs. <laughs> oh, I really look. love it. <laughs> that reminds me of a shot I've done before. And yeah. I do, when I done Vogue, I done a black and white headshot like that, and it reminds me of that of that photograph. Wow! Look at your they eyes are on that. amazing. Do <laughs> it for the real women. Yeah. <laughs> Today, her girls will face tough competition. And sure enough, the waiting room is full of top professional models, all with killer legs. There's a really weird atmosphere in the waiting room. The general models are really good. They've got, you know, they've all got great faces. Our girls do look as great as them girls, but you can tell that they're quite new to it. 
Should we go over first? Thanks so much. Casting begins. Pretty Polly are looking for personality, confidence, and of course, great legs. Hello. This is nice. A bit dynamic. With a contract worth thousands of pounds up for grabs, they won't settle for anything less than perfect. I've never fiddled so much with my hands before. That's all I Yeah. That's it, that's, that's it. Perfect. I'm going to start getting it over with now. Leah is the last of the models to be seen. Let's <laughs> Leaving Colleen's girls panicking about the competition. They're all so beautiful and they've got legs up to here and I'm like the shortest girl in the room and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Okay, I'm Leah. I've just seen one of the real models going in and she's gorgeous, but you know, I'm not going to look at them and think, what have they got that I haven't got? I'm just going to, you know, what I have got has got to be good enough, obviously, to get me this far, so I've got to work it, I guess. Uh, Leah has caught the panel's stuck. eye. Have they already found the new well, legs of Pretty Polly? I was pretty blown away by Leah. I think she embodies everything that the brand does. The, the whole package is probably the most complete out of the, everybody else you've seen yeah. so far. Oh, I like that. Finally, it's the turn of Colleen's mm. real women to go in. I definitely just want to get it over with now. I'm basically nerves kicking in, just waiting. And the longer I wait, the more I'm starting to break it. For their first casting to get a job, it would be great for them. But um, I won't lie, of course I want the contract. <laughs> Mum of two, Sasha's first in. At size 12 to 14, she's far from the size of your typical model. I'm just going to go in there, be myself, be confident, make it look like I've done this a million times before, or even though obviously I haven't, and just, you know, just give it my all. I've really got one chance. The shots really show the sort of different sides of your personality, and it comes through, you've got beautiful sort of... Um, elegant poses as we show, which is really good to see. So, how would you normally be spending your day? What, 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 what well, do you I have two children, um, and uh, but they go to like a full-time school because I work as well, so yes. I do accounts. Could we ask you just to walk um, in a sort of a catwalky style? I'll try just as best you can. You've got a natural catwalk. Yeah. I can't believe you've got two kids. <laughs> That's lovely, yeah. Thank you for taking the time to see me. I've got sweet hands now, but I'll shake any. I think it went really well. I did my best, you know, and they was chatting, they was all smiling, but I guess, you know, they have to do that with everybody, but they seemed impressed, so I hope I've done my best. I've done my best. We'll find out soon enough. Well, her upper body wasn't as tamed as her legs, but I think yeah. you could tell that she wasn't a did it go well? Was it awesome? I'm getting more and more excited now. Hi. Hello. Hello. My name's Charlotte. At only five foot five, nice will admin you. assistant Charlotte Tight end her modelling Hi. career before it's even begun? We did say to Colleen, we were looking for ladies who were five foot eight and over. Yeah. Um, but we were willing to be challenged. I think it's all about proportion when you're in front of the camera. Yeah. So as long as you know your legs are in proportion to the rest of your body. Mm. I mean, this shot in here where you're leaning against the chair. You could be six foot tall. <laughs> I feel like I'm one of those drunken people who are trying to <laughs> we'll do a walk on a straight line. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for coming in today. It was a real pleasure to meet you. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Sadie? Yes. Last to go is trainee lawyer Sadie, who's struggling to hold herself together with nerves. Very nervous. My heart's going crazy. Um, yeah, just trying to keep calm, basically, because I'm feeling about to lose it. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Could we take your book off you? If you wouldn't mind standing just a couple of paces back, that'd be perfect. So no real burning desire to be a model before this? I never thought about it before. I don't know if I feel that confident around cameras, but I mean, having done this, like I definitely felt like it kind of came a lot easier than I thought yeah, it would, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> do you mind if we ask you to do a couple of yeah. sort of strong... It's on my shoes, by the way, so forgive it if it's... <laughs> <laughs> got 
a stunning night, beautifully yeah. defined. Well, listen, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. The all I know. But um, yeah, thanks for coming in today, okay. and I uh, hope it wasn't too daunting. But it's great no, to meet you. Sorry, <laughs> 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 I, I was just like, st like stammered and shook loads. You okay? Yeah. yeah. Like they were really nice and they really liked the portfolio and stuff like, yeah. but I just like, I just literally just lost it basically. It's time for Colleen to find out if any of her girls have beaten the top models to become the new legs of Pretty Polly and win a contract worth thousands of pounds. We saw Sasha. I still don't believe she's a mum of two. She's just got a fantastic. She just had this spirit, yeah. and she was so excited by it, and was really up for it, which is important for us if she's going to be embodying the brand. Yeah. We then saw Charlotte, and she was a perfect little package. Um, again, in proportion. So she was only five foot five and three quarters. Yeah. But um, but you, from her shots and her portfolio, you'd have no idea. Well, that's and what we did. Not fabulous. Yeah. So our final lady that you saw, was Sadie. I think she went last. She felt a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Nerves. Yeah. It's it's been really tough. So you've seen a lot of people today, yeah. and I've watched your final decision. Okay, are you going to back me up here? Totally. Yeah. Okay. So has one of Colleen's girls got the job? <gasps> oh, very good. She, she really lit up the room. Um, she was an absolute corker, and we were totally blown yeah. away by yeah. her. And while she really was <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Hello. Hi. Right. <laughs> no, I was just had a chat with them all, and they said they were just so pleased with the three of you, and we do have success. Oh my God. So <laughs> we do. Oh, I'm all shivering, all shaking, all. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a yeah. Sasha. Ah! <laughs> she no. Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you I am so over the moon. It's just fantastic that one of our girls won the campaign and oh, just just breaking the news to Sasha then was just so, I just loved it. I want to do it again. Sasha's desperate to break the news to her husband, Scott. No, I didn't get it. Yeah, Dean! <laughs> I got it, I got it! <laughs> right, now you need to be... I don't think I ever thought these kids are. <laughs> While Colleen brings the news to Camilla. We have succeeded. No, no who? <laughs> Sasha is going to be Pretty Polly Girl for the next 12 months. No way, no way. I'm going to be a Pretty Polly Girl. A Pretty Polly Girl. Me, me. Do you know what I mean? It's shocking. Shocking? I don't even know what to say. Alright, it's... I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got it, it's the best feeling ever and I'm really, really pleased. So proud of myself as well, it's been excellent. I'm really happy. <laughs> Six weeks later, Sasha's on her first assignment. Life for this mum of two will never be the same again. Colleen, Camilla and everyone from the very beginning to the very end, it's, it's been brilliant and I'm having the time of my life and I don't want it to end ever.